Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add reactions to messages in order to make reaction rules with Carabot. If you want to learn how to lay out your embeds so that they look like this, I have a video up on that. I will link it in the top and also in the description. So the very first thing that we need to do is turn on developer mode. Go into your profile and then under advanced, make sure that developer mode is toggled on. Now we actually need to get Carabot into our server. So under my server settings, I'm going to go to app directory and type in Carabot. I will also leave a link to the Carabot site in the description. We're going to add it to the server and then click authorize with all of those permissions on. Now that we have Carabot in our server, we want to make sure that the Carabot is above roles that we want it to be able to give to our members. So. For example, it would just need to be above these two roles, but in case I want to allow my, my members to choose colors, I'm going to place Carbot above my color roles as well. To make sure that Carbot is able to do reaction roles, make sure that these permissions are toggled on. We want to make sure that send messages is on, as well as add reactions, read message history, and manage roles. There are a few different ways to do reaction roles with Carabot, but this is just my favorite way and it all stays within Discord. So what I do is I use code exclamation point RR add and then I click on the message, right click it or click the three dots and I click copy message ID. This is what we needed developer mode to be able to do. Then I'm going to put a space. I'm going to find the emoji that I want the reaction to be tied to and then the role that it's associated with which is the 18 minus role as it is displayed here at the top and then i'm going to click enter and there it is carbot just added this emoji and when i click it i'm giving the 18 minus role now let's do the same thing for the other role the 18 plus role and as we can see carbot added another reaction role so when we click on it we should see that we also have the 18 plus role as well. Now, because we don't want members to be able to have the adult and minor role at the same time, we're gonna add in a command that's gonna make this message unique. Meaning that once a member clicks on one reaction role, if they try to click on another one, it'll remove the first one that they chose. So we're gonna copy the message ID, exclamation point RR, type in the word unique, and then the message ID, so let's test this out so now i have the rule that i'm a minor and then as we can see as i chose the next role it automatically removed that one so i can only either be a minor or an adult setting up a verify method with carbot is very similar to the previous methods i'm going to copy the message id type in exclamation point rr add for message id uh let's just pick a random emoji here and then i'm gonna add the role that i want my members to gain when they click this button okay now when i click on this button i gain the verified role now if i want to make this reaction role a verified reaction role i'm going to type in exclamation point rr verify and then the message id so now it says that message is now marked as verify. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that when I click on it, I can't take it away from myself. I will always have the verified role unless it's taken away by a mod or something. But that just makes it to where I can't undo the verify. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, make sure to subscribe. And if you're interested, join my Discord server where we share a bunch of other resources. Thank you!